Hello my peeps, and welcome to Baby White Technique, the sequel. <laughs> uh, as you know, I said I would come back on Saturday, and I would, we would see how this stuff all holds up. <laughs> I've made a lot of cards <laughs> between that video and right now, and done a whole bunch of other things. I'm having a crazy busy weekend, lots going on. But I'm going to show you so much stuff in the next, like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, because I told you I'd keep this short. To recap, we were going for this background technique, and I showed you how to do the baby wipe. And in the process of doing that, we made a whole bunch of samples. And we're going to, this, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you in suspense for a few minutes, because we're going to see what happens to this after we've left it for a couple days, and see if we can revitalize it, and if not, then we know for next time. But remember how I was making all my little cards and I said I'd finish them? I love these lunchbox cards. Love the lunchbox cards. I mean, come on, a little note. Okay, this is not going to focus with this in the background. Let's try this again. A little note. It's adorable. I don't know why that's not focusing. Um, I put Once I put a little note on one of them, I put it on all of them because I thought it was funny. So these are our backgrounds that I did. This one was just a tiny little one, and this one might be my favorite. Like it's got just a little bit of stamping in the corner and a little butterfly. Anyways, love those. And I keep them on my desk. And if I ever have to package something up to give it to somebody, in they go. Uh, I will take pictures of all of these later so you don't have to like, worry about it. Now remember, I had I was trying to make this. <laughs> this is actually, I'm going to use the backside of it for scrap here. Remember I tried to make this tree, but it wasn't distinct enough. And I was like doing this with it as I want to do. And I said, hey, that looks more like a landscape. Dun, da, da, da. Landscape. I think it looks like trees reflecting in water. So I finished that card up. Very happy with it. And because I did that and because you know I like to play. Um, and I haven't finished these yet because there's just not enough time. But I made this landscape. I made a gray landscape. Which I haven't figured out how I'm going to make that work. And I made one that's just green. But here's the thing. <laughs> Turn your stamps, turn your dies, rotate them around, see what else you might get out of them, because you just never know. Okay, so we do have a lot of fall cards. I have the spring ones last, I put the fall cards first. Um, so, <clears throat> remember this was our big background. Uh, one of my favorite cards out of the whole thing. Uh, nice and simple. Got to keep some of them simple. And these were just, this was the mask off technique. This was a gorgeous envelope. You notice how these ones don't have envelopes behind them? That's because I didn't make enough envelopes. So what we're going to try today is see if we can revitalize that thing and see if I can make the envelopes I didn't make. Uh, this one, love it too. Look how simple that is. So that was the one with the first ones we made with the pattern and then I just put some stripes on. Oh, see we're getting into springtime. I thought this bow looked like a butterfly. So I made it into a butterfly. Whether it does or not, who knows. Uh, this is the one where we stamped the label. And this is the one where we did the baby wipe on the bottom and then just did solid stamping over top. So I will take pictures of those. Those are all the ending, the cards that we ended with, or I ended with. Now, in between, before we get to the, the testing thing, um, there was a fundraiser yesterday for Stampin' Up! And I will post these in a separate link and there's still time to donate should you like to. I think they're up to like over $14,000 or something. It was very impressive. So they were making cards in support of the humanitarian efforts in the Ukraine. So I started making these cards. And I made a whole bunch of them and I loved them. And they, and um, they were sort of thematic, right? So here, I'm going to give you my favorite one. So this one is, is sort of based on the one, but mine doesn't really look as much like theirs as it did. But I loved this card. And... Um, the card I made for my Friday challenge, I had originally made this card with this, with this sunflower on it. And I knew this was the wrong sunflower, but I hadn't figured out a plan. Because originally I thought, this sunflower was too big. But then once I made all the other cards, and some of them were a little more bold than others, I decided, nope, that's the perfect size sunflower. So I put it on. So I kind of retooled this one a little bit. So I had some cards had hearts on them, and some cards had sunflowers on them. Well, I don't have anything to really make a good stamp on the envelope, which is what I wanted to do. So I decided to try to make half blue and half yellow. So what did I do? I just made me a little baby white ink pad, blue on the top, yellow on the bottom. So some of them are hearts 
And then this one turned out so nice. And some of them are sunflowers. And that's that same stamp, only when you stamp it in just bold colors. Because that was the thing. These were really bold, solid colors. And that was like drawn, shaded. It didn't go together in my opinion. So I made this. And so I stamped all the hearts and all the sunflowers on the cards. And I, these, these cards you will see in a separate post. But I will show you a couple note cards I made. Because after I did this, I was like, oh my god, this is so nice. And I didn't want to waste it. And we hadn't done our experiment yet to know if it would last. So I didn't want to waste all that good, you know, blue and yellow ink. So then I made some note cards. <laughs> so I, I love note cards. And they're super easy. But look at these hearts. Aren't they awesome? Um, and these are, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get more simple in things. Not everything has to have 75 layers, three die cuts and an embellishment. So actually with me, it's probably three layers, 75 die cuts and an embellishment hearts. And then look at these cards with these. Oh, they're awesome. Now you will notice, and even this one, look how simple this card is. And it's just fantastic. You'll notice that in the middle, it's a little bit greenish. So what I did was I put the top half was blue, the bottom half was yellow, and I kept them far apart so that they would, when they bled, because I knew that the two colors would bleed through the, the baby wipe, uh, when they did, that they wouldn't overlap. And they didn't. They, I had actually a pretty good line going, which is why some of the earlier ones, and I don't even know which ones were which, some of the earlier ones were a little, there's like little spaces in them. They're probably on the envelopes for the big cards. Um, so that's what, that's what happened. A little white, I'm like, fine. But the more I stamped in it, and the more it just kind of moved just slightly. And I had the baby wipe was folded in half. So I think it was shifting a little bit. It started to blend a little bit just along that line and give it just a bit of a green. So it wasn't a distinct harsh line. But if I'd wanted that solid line, I would have like stamped with the solid thing and masked it. And that's not what I was going for anyways. So loved how those turned out. So watch for that post. And yeah, if you can, pop in a donation. Okay, so this is it. And I just pried this lid off. <laughs> I have not opened this since yesterday. I'm going to try not to get completely filthy today like I did yesterday. Um, let's see. So we're just going to open it up. I'm going to use the same stamp I was using yesterday. And I'm going to stamp on a piece of paper, which you can't see. Just a minute. Let me move my little props all around. I haven't I haven't lifted this up so you can see the big reveal. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, so here's the thing. It does work, but it's fairly faint. <laughs> so... Part two of, oh, and I also remember to get my little chamois wet this time so I don't have to be wiping with the other thing every time. Okay, so part two of our experiment was going to be, and I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to do like this, and I'm going to spray half of it with rubbing alcohol. And this is just, the higher the percentage of rubbing alcohol, the, the faster it will dry. And the reason we're trying it with the rubbing alcohol is rubbing alcohol, it does dry quickly. And it also, so it won't dilute it, right? It will just, with any luck, it will just make it a little moister. And I'm doing it over the garbage can under my desk because I don't want to ruin my wooden desk. That Cory worked so hard to make me. Oh, <laughs> safety note, spray in ventilated area. Whew, that's some strong smelling stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. We're going to do it again. But uh it's the same. <laughs> So that tells me that even though it's a little bit wetter, because it was still wet, I guess, uh, it didn't do anything. Now, since that's not working, I mean, you know what, though? It, it is cool. Like I said, it's just, it's just faint. Can't use the back of that word. The back of my other one go. Okay, well, and here's the other thing. This was what I was looking for the other day that I couldn't find. When the, when the first, the big tree didn't work, and I'm like, oh, I should make one with this little tree. So we're going to have to do it on one of these. I wanted to do this on the envelopes, though. Um, remember, that's what I said. The whole point was I had missed out on stamping the envelopes. I wanted to stamp the envelopes. Well, and here's the thing. So for envelopes, I'm going back and forth now because I've kind of forgotten which side I sprayed and which side I didn't. But I'm just going to go. And honestly, for doing the envelopes, um, it's enough. I forgot the mask, so this one's not quite as clean as the other ones but look at that that did work so in case you're wondering yes now I don't think you could go and um I'm going to stamp the envelopes and then I'm going to spray with water there's a reason um I don't think you could go right now and try to recreate like just try to add more ink to it and hope for the best I don't think that would actually work because the 
Um, the ink has bled so much that you're not going to guess the exact same colors again anyways, like where which one was which dot. Um, but I think it's also just going to travel more than it did the original time. And I think you're going to get like instant mixing, not just eventual mixing that you get. So yeah, I don't think that's going to work. But I do want to make my envelopes. Just pretty those up a little bit so that I can have them match the cards. Um, spoiler alert, those of you with fall birthdays. You know what? I do think that that is the side that I put the, the rubbing alcohol on. And now that I'm doing this more than once and, and actually hitting the same side every time, it is a little bit darker. It's not super dark, but it is a little bit darker. But honestly, it's dark enough for what I need. Okay. So I guess this is, this is, uh, our experiment has told us that what we should do is make sure you have all your papers and all your envelopes and everything out so that when you make one of these, you do them all at once because you're never going to recreate them. Okay. This is going to be my experimental page here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the side that we didn't spray, um, Yes, because that one's water, I can tell. The one that we didn't spray the ink on, or the alcohol on, sorry. And I'm going to stamp this little tree. See, that one is mostly yellow, but it is cool looking. Or orange, sorry. Now, again, under the desk, so we protect the wooden surface. I, I now know I'm right, because the way I just pushed that so that it wasn't hanging over the edge is exactly what I did the last time with the other one. Okay. So now we know that one's wet. So there's a technique where you can stamp on your stamp and then spritz your stamp with water and it gives you more watercolor. -y. So I'm kind of curious what this will do because it's already blended a little. So I'm curious and I'm doing this a little higher because if all else fails, I'm going to cut these, this piece apart and use it for things. And I think because this is already blended, it, it, the water's not making it blend anymore. So there we go. Do it all on day one. If for some reason you have to wait, you can probably get a little bit more out of it on day two. Uh, I'm going to see what else I can get. That one is very orange though. And I'm, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more variation. Ooh, that one got a little bit more. See these note cards, again, you can mail them. And they're so simple. So this, and I'm getting better at keeping it simple with just a little thank you or happy birthday or something in there. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Okay, I'm going to stamp one more. And then I'm going to stamp the envelopes. Yep. See, each one each one is getting like slightly different. So the first two were fairly orange. This is a bit more orange and cobbler. Pumpkin pie and cobbler. I guess I got to say the proper colors. But look at these little things. Oh, I just love them. All right, peeps. That's it for the experiment. I'm not going to keep you all a Friday night, or sorry, Saturday night, um, mostly because you probably have things to do, and because I got to get some stuff finished, so I can go back to watching curling. Because yes, <laughs> that's been part of the distraction has been the men's world curling that started. Uh, there we go, baby wipe technique two. Watch for pictures of all the final cards. I will make a post that I will link this video, or that is linked to this video. I guess you'll know that because you will have found that, and I will also be posting another one with all the pictures of the. Uh, Ukraine fundraiser pictures. Uh, it has been fun, fun, fun playing with this. Um, I hope you all have time to play because sometimes when you got it, you're just like head down. I got to make this card. I got to go. Um, that can be fun too. But hours, and I, I mean that literally, hours of just playing and stamping and futzing and oh, I've had a blast with this particular technique. So thank you all for joining me for the journey. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you on Tuesday. Take care.